right, hey hacksters. Uh, with me here, I have a representative from Cytron. Could you introduce yourself really quick? Yeah, hi Alex and hi Hexter. Uh, I'm Ober Chu from Cytron Technology. Uh, we are based in Penang, uh, Malaysia. Cool. And thanks, you are thanks. introducing the Maker Uno board on Kickstarter, is that right? Yeah, I'll talk I about this. <laughs> yeah, so I have one here, you have one, another one there. What's so cool about this board? Um, so it's kind of, we designed for education. Uh, we did design to be very friendly, even friendlier than the original make, uh, Arduino Uno uh -huh. uh, for beginner to learn. Okay, so I'll, I'll talk more about this later on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's first take a quick look at the Citron site then and at the Kickstarter page. Let me pull it up here. All right, so here we have your Kickstarter page. You're already over three times funded. With yeah, thanks, thanks for the support, then for the sharing and everyone. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's our pleasure. Yeah, we, uh, if you all are interested, there is a uh, post about it on Hackster. Maker Uno builds on the Arduino Uno at a price of $6. This is incredible. So not only that, but there's a discount right now for people to yeah. get it for $4. Is that correct? Yes, yes, and I think there are still left, uh, not many, but <laughs> there are still some left. How are you well, managing that? What kinds of cost-saving measures have you taken? Okay, um, so if you look at it, um, the idea of Maker Uno came from uh, our partner, our academic partner from Arus, uh, if you go down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, they are actually social enterprise that offer after class education and particularly ah. they support so they are the teachers cool. uh, so they offer class for student uh, after class uh, the official class uh, they offer education to those students to create something so it's something like maker movement uh, so cool. they use that uh, you know a lot they knew re raspberry uh, raspberry pi and they do a lot of robots so from there, they, they have been using, you know, we, we love Arduino uh, Uno so uh, cool. original R3. So we carry them, uh, we use them a lot. But from their feedback, uh, from time to time, students get mixed up uh, between coding and also uh, electronic circuit. So how can I, you know, for some students, they don't have idea of electronics. Why do I need to connect LED in this? in that way. Why do right. I need a resistor? Why do I need this? Why do I need that? Before I can code. So, um, so the first feedback is, hey, why don't you add LED at all digital pin? So that's why we ought add LED at all the digital pin from pin 2 to pin that's so cool. 13. So, uh, so that, that's the... So that, that's the... <laughs> That's the default uh, sketch that we'll load into the Maker Uno. Uh, so when you receive it, you just power it up. And so you have all the digital pin with uh, LEDs. And we add in, uh, of course, the buzzer. That's why the melody is there. Mm -hmm. Then you can actually play with the output with an oh, wow. extra digital push button over here. So. So just, you know, you have an extra digital input, uh, all the LED digital, uh, digital pin with LED and also uh, extra uh, buzzer that you can play manually. You know, you can program it to become a birthday gift when uh -huh. your friend receives it and it power using, and we, of course we change the USB from B type to micro B. Yeah, that's so, so that, useful. Yes, it become very common uh, because uh, Android phone is using micro mm -hmm. B, power bank is using micro B. Uh, you can actually power with power bank, and a lot of adapter is using uh, micro B. Of course, Raspberry Pi also power mm -hmm. in micro B. So that's the thing. And to keep it low cost, uh, we actually change one of the USB to serial IC. We use CH three four zero G as the uh, USB to serial. And if you notice, we use all SMD component. Uh -huh. So the machine will do the work. Uh, there will be no manual work. But of course, the manual will come when we test every single board before we ship. Right. So if you notice, at the back is flat. Yeah. 
Yeah. There is no, yeah. So you can put on your you know, table and you not know, scratch your table surface. That's super cool. And you don't have to worry as much about things getting shorted either on the back of the board. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. And we, we also do some uh, masking. Uh, this is the place for you to write your name so you don't get mixed up uh, with your friend bot. I love that. Yeah. It's so important like in a, in a school environment. And I'm going to pull up really quick as well the, uh, well, here's first up the, the sort of diagram of all, everything yes. that's included. And this is on the Kickstarter page. Um, yes. But also you have this really great getting started page, which, you know, it's, it's great to have an awesome board, but it's just as important to teach people how to use it right out of the box. And yes. Yeah, yes. Um, and what I love about this is not only is this a great page that takes you from absolute zero to running your own programs, but also, uh, let, me, um, let me show you, uh, well, obviously you know this, but let me show our, our viewers uh, yes. the way that this looks. It's got, you've got all these uh, information. Instructions. Yeah, exactly, information on how to find tutorials. Yeah. If you mm -hmm. pull this out, there's a QR code and it says, yep. uh, go to the bit.ly link, make a Runo start, all your social information and even a phone number. That's so cool. And like someone they can email for help. Uh, there's other cool stuff about this box too, right? There's this yep. name yep. spot and you can even plug it in yes, right in through the a box. hole in the box. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Um, I'm going to turn it off so it doesn't keep making noise. <laughs> But uh, so, so much attention to detail, it's so cool to see this. Yeah, thanks to our uh, teachers over here, because uh, all those uh, feedback is uh, from them. Uh, all all oh, the wow, way yeah. that when they teach students, they have the difficulty and they have the problem and feedback to us. Mm. So uh, this is coming from Cytron Technologies again. And uh, pulling up your page, obviously the Kickstarter is your sort of big <laughs> flagship thing there. Yes, but you yes. also, this isn't the first thing you've built by a long shot, right? Yes, yes, yes. What other kinds of things do you produce? So, so we actually started from building robots. Uh, all our co-founder, eight of us is from members. Uh, it's actually a member from a robot competition team back in university. Oh, uh, cool. We are from uh, University of Technology Malaysia. It's southern of Malaysia. It's very near to Singapore, if you know Singapore. <clears throat> And we started to build robot by our own, and uh, we do our own controller, and we use PIC microcontroller at that time. There's no Arduino. We mm -hmm. love to have Arduino if there is Arduino back then. Uh, wow. uh, that is like 2004, 2005, 2006. So we built our own microcontroller. We learned the coding from the data sheet using assembly code. Wow. And, yeah. So nowadays it's very easy with Arduino. Uh, so thanks to Arduino, the credit, the credit must go to the community and of course the Arduino CC.cc. And so we started from there, we built a uh, star for our own robot for the competition and uh, we won some of the national level competition. And from there, the, a lot of other teams actually asked us to supply parts for them. So we actually import Apart from US, for example, uh, I think you guys should know SparkFun, Ada mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, Lulu. So we, we import those parts that we cannot uh, build by ourselves, and uh, we import them and uh, supply to the team that build robots. And from there, we grow and now we, we build our own controller, we build our own drivers, uh, and we also build our own robot kits. Uh, this is actually. We oh wrote, yeah, robot kit. <laughs> wow, cool. Uh, yeah, we, we launched this in 2013. Um, wow. So and we have run a lot of uh, program for uh, secondary school and primary school. Mm. Uh, we have annual competition for this robot. Uh, just to show you. Wow, how much does this one cost? Uh, I think it's 400 USD. And that's pretty comparable to, for example, the Lego Mindstorms. At yeah. least back when I was teaching with them, they were about that much money. That's so yeah. cool. But this one has like a complete humanoid 
filled with all these intense stepper motors. It, it actually came, uh, come with a uh, loosened part. So uh -huh. uh, the student have to build their oh, own. Yeah, robot. Even so this is, so oh. all this, is, you know, the modular actuator. So you right. can uh, disassemble it. And assemble it looks like it. they kind of slide together. Yes, there's no mm -hmm. screw involved. There's no nuts involved. It's wow. just like, yep. So that, that's one of our product. Uh, we call it Vero. We configurable robot. Uh, so oh yeah, cool. Rero. Yeah. And you, uh, we mentioned that you have some demos there that would be cool to show off. I'd love to see those. Yeah, so just now uh, I shown you uh, on the default package of, uh, default sketch of Maker Uno. Mm -hmm. now I'd like to show you the, it's actually show compatible. We try to keep it uh, shield compatible because there are, I'm sure there are thousands of shield yeah. out there. Uh, so we don't want to you know, create another controller that... Uh, Plus if students want to like build their own shield, there's so much documentation around that out, out for that already. It's cool yeah. to be able to sort of use that as well. Is that so, a flashlight? No. <laughs> it kind of looks like right a like on me. one side. So let me open up. Uh, I actually connect a oh, wow. CD shield cool. on top of uh, Maker Uno. That's mm. cool, as you see. So now it's not programmed for the uh, oh, LCD. Yeah. So let me just pull out uh, my Arduino IDE. So I'm, I'm working on another. Uh, I'll pull up the uh, getting started page while we're looking at that. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Thanks. There's all these extra resources and stuff. Wow, cool. Salamat Tatang. Oh, cool. Thanks. I love that all of this is bilingual. That's so cool. Well, I'm, I'm searching for this. Uh, let me just show it. Uh, uh, well, I'm searching for oh, the Grove files. Oh, Groove Kit, so. yeah. This yeah, is the same This is Groove, groove Base from C Studio. Mm. Uh, we love it because it's uh, connected, is standard. Yeah. So it's kind of easy to set up. So right here I have a servo motor mm -hmm. and a potential meter. Mm. So just to show that, uh, you know, it's yeah, still cool. compatible. So you can program it and with the LED as an indicator. And are you just using the, the seed example so, code there probably? Because it, it seems yeah. like all the, the regular Arduino sketches are pretty much compatible with this. Yeah, code. So, but we modified it. Oh, to, you added an indicator. That's know. so cool. <laughs> so we utilize the LEDs on uh, digital wow. page. To, <laughs> so besides moving the, the servo, of course, uh -huh. the font of the servo. So the LED can uh, indicate your uh, the potential meter or the voltage from the potential meter. Super cool. So uh, uh, just to show that it's shield compatible. And even the intro video on the getting started page is also bilingual, which is just, just super cool. Now, um, you, you guys can actually download all the manual in the Kickstarter. It's by Arus. Oh, cool. And they, they open it uh, yeah, to the, 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 the source of the format and they welcome any country teachers, educator to actually translate it to any language that you prefer and use it for education. Cool. So this is the Arus group. Yeah, I haven't ever really clicked on this. <laughs> but website. There are a bunch of teacher. Uh -huh. oh. oh, okay. It's over here. My screen share thing is getting in the way. <laughs> cool. Just, Students uh, actively solve problems by building and creating their own physical and digital solutions, yes. instilling in them the love of learning. So cool. So are you co-located with Arus? Do you have your own separate uh, place that you work? 
Yeah, we, we have our own office. Arus, uh, they have their own uh, kind of uh, maker space cool. for students, for class. So they, 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 they don't only teach uh, electronics or coding, but uh, they try to inspire the student to do something by their own, to become uh, makers, uh, in other words. And it looks like some public speaking as well as part of the page. Is yes, uh, they actually join uh, one. I think there's a tech talk for junior, something like that. Mm -hmm. So they actually do conference call with other country students from other country to uh, pitch their ideas, things like that. Yep. Super cool. So I hear oh, I just program yeah, a demo. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> So, just to prove that, you know, Maker Uno is not uh, only the board itself, you yeah. can also use with shield. But of course, uh, if you notice, uh, it doesn't come with a DC jet. Mm. Well, there's no DC jet over here. We replace it, the DC jet, we take off the 5 volt regulator. Right. And also the jack, uh, because if you notice, most of the project and most of the training students do not use that. Uh, it's DC true. Jet. Yeah. So, because it's in classroom, uh, the USB is uh, good enough to load program and also to power. Um, I think personally, I've only ever used the DC barrel jack for one project, and that was a that's yep. a doorbell that we have always plugged into the wall. But like you know, you could just as easily use a USB adapter and a cable. For that. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yes. And then so you have if, to yes. So <laughs> if your shield, let's say your shield is, uh, you need to use V in, uh -huh. which is higher than five foot then that shield is not compatible with Maker Uno. So that Aha. is the only uh, shield, uh, no, that, that range of shield uh, which is not compatible with Maker Uno. That makes sense. Um, often though, that type of shield, I notice, will, will tend to have its own sort of power input ability as yes, well. Yes. So even yeah. in that case, you're not really limited. Super yeah. cool. Well, uh, is there anything else you'd like to cover or we can just take a look at the... Um, the Kickstarter again. Yeah, sure, sure. Awesome. I think that, that's, that's all for me. Sweet. Let's pull that back up again. Uh, for everyone watching, the, uh, let, me, let me grab it here. <laughs> it is now at Kickstarter. Look for the $6 Maker Uno, simplifying oh, Arduino for education. Uh, for yeah, the number just went up, uh, I think, by two or three backers. Oh, so, cool. <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks. Yeah, thank you everyone for backing this. This is so cool. Yes. I can't wait to see this.